YouTube, it's your boy Barcode. I'm back with another video. We are on episode eight of Fix My Account. Today we'll be helping out our boy Stone Dog. I'm gonna re-gear his heroes, six star one hero that is on my radar, that is useful in pretty much every stage 12 dungeon. One of my favorite heroes, which I wish I had, and really focus on Queen 12 and Void Tower Hard. I love helping people fix their accounts. If you want your account fixed, make sure to go to my Discord and DM me. But if you like this video and like what I do, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. Let's get to it. All right, currently he cannot beat Queen 12. He definitely has the heroes to do it. But right now he's on stage 10 hard mode. Looking at his heroes, he has a lot of good heroes for hard tower. And he has this setup to do Queen 12 easy. So I'm thinking it's probably a gear thing. So I'm going to unequip all the gear from his heroes. Re-gear the ones that we need. And see if we can get his first Queen 12 victory. All right, going down his list, he's got a lot of good heroes. Yurian, Avira, Blackhorn, Cyrus, Brand, C, Era. Windstrex, which I definitely need. I can't stand not having a Windstrex. Uh, Hakron, Natalia, Santis, Desmond. And this is what I'm focusing on today because I love this hero and it's Marion Shadowblood. Stone Dog has her at a fourth ascension. All she needs is her second, really. All the other ones are just stat boosts. But today we are focusing on her and we're six starring her because she can be used in every single dungeon just like Santis. And here we go, six star Marion Shadowblood. She is a beast. All right, so Marion, she does huge true damage on all enemies on her ultimate. She heals herself by 30% of her max health on her second skill and also removes any negative effects. Her basic skill does true damage as well according to the enemy's max health, 3%, which is what? A poison. Pretty much the same thing, unless you have some Gangello in it. I don't have that. But the main key, especially since you have her at her second ascension, this grants the character a 30% chance, but trigger chance is increased with speed. You don't need to build her like a nuker. Because she does all this true damage according to the enemy's max HP, we build her tanky, and you also build her fast and on cursed. So let's see what we can get going. Also, a side note, she doesn't need focus. So really all you build her with is speed, HP, and defense. All right, this is the best I could do with the current gear that you have. I got her on Cursed and a Broken Set. She's on HP, Defense, Defense. I wanted speed in the boots, but I couldn't get that with the stats that I wanted. But I like this set because I got her agility to 39. High agility on heroes that don't have the element advantage. It's huge, so they deflect the enemy's attack and reduce their damage by 50%. So around 15,000 health, 1,500 defense. Speed, I got high speed and substats. But you can also get 10 more speed by farming her glyph here. So make sure to definitely max out her glyphs with HP, defense, speed. Even resistance, really. All of these are pretty good. Defense, resistance, uh, health and resistance, health, and then the speed one with resistance. So it's all good. Now, Santis, we geared her on Curse as well. Curse Terra, 69% focus, which is good enough for Queen 12. 15,500 health, 1,200 defense. She'll be totally fine with a hacker and comp. She needs to be glyphed up a little bit more with the health there. We also have, uh, we don't really need the speed. Actually, I probably wouldn't even do the speed on Santis anyway. But yeah, just max out this glyph. And I know you're working on Cyrus. I, however, would definitely go for that fifth ascension Santis. That 100% proc on void encroachment is huge. And Santis can literally be used everywhere. All right, for Hawkern, I got Terra and Guard and then a broken set. This mainly just has the best defensive gear that you have, and even in sub stats is really good defensive percentages. I have him at 3,300 defense. This is huge for your whole team. Not only that, but also his attack is the highest on this team. Higher than Marion, higher than Santis. So after he's done doing his HP buffs to the whole team, really all he has to do is his second skill to do damage. Otherwise, he doesn't really do anything to the team. But this at least gets Queen Stun Beam on Hakran so that Marion doesn't get stunned and Santis doesn't get stunned. Last on this four-man team is Blackhorn. I put him on Terra set and I brought him on a Faith set. I feel like Blackhorn is really one of maybe two healers currently that really can only benefit from Faith. Just because of his massive heals and his heal over time, I'd say the other one would be Connor. 
Really decent stats on this Terra Faith set, though. 20k health, 1500 defense. He won't ever die. So we're going to try the slow team. I feel like 100% this is going to beat it nonstop. But I also want to try a speed team for you. We're going to see who does more damage, whether that's Santis or Marion. And then we're going to do a run to try to get speed team and replace Zatlux with either Santis or Marion, whoever does like less performance. For the speed, Zatlux clear. I really feel like your account is really gimped with attack gear. In time, it'll come. Especially when you start farming Queen 12. But we're going to see what we can do with this. 3700 attack, 193 crit damage. We're going to have to see, but I highly doubt it. Alright, let's get this first stage 12 win. We're going to bring the heal over time spell, but I'm also going to bring the stun spell. This will not only remove the buff from the right elite, but it will also remove the shield from the boss if she applies it. Plus, stunning the right elite is less damage on your team. I don't feel like your heroes are going to die, so we don't really need the death shield, which is shield of mercy. I never remember the name. So we're going to go Blackhorn, Hakran, Marion, Shadow, Blood, and then also Santis, if I can ever find her. We'll go with this team. It's a slow team, but let's see if we can get this on auto so you get some better gear. Farm Queen 12 in order to make your clear a little bit faster while bringing in Zatlux. Also make sure right elite first and boss on this team comp. Also to note, because you don't have a 5th Ascension Santis, it's actually better to keep the skills on for Santis because the ultimate can extend the poisons and also when you use your second skill, if, you, if it's timed right within the skills, obviously, and you're attacking the right elite, if she uses the second skill when that right elite is low, it might get poisons onto the boss, making the speed of the clear a little bit faster, and the right elite dies without healing the boss, and then you have those poisons that you transferred from the right elite. I want to show you the amount of damage that Marion Shadow Blood can do on the elites, and then also on queen of tide just her single attack does 1900 damage pretty much what a poison does but if you see here 16,000 damage from an ultimate on the queen so it's huge damage from that ultimate um and once you get that right elite down so that she can't heal uh it, it's it's pretty much gg i mean with with santis on curse doing poisons and marion pretty much doing poisons on her auto attack basic attack um it's it's just huge her being on curse as well doing damage as well it's just huge damage so i already know that this is going to win it's there they can't even do damage marion can um heal herself on her second skill um and then i uh, want to see just you know how fast it's going to be and then we'll try to bring in zatlux and see if it makes it a little bit faster there's that stun beam on Hakran like I was talking about. That's that's huge to be able to have Hakran tank that. Here's the heal. And there's actually the shield's pretty decent. Not, uh, you know, it doesn't show up as a buff, which is kind of weird. So I don't know exactly like where the shield is. Um, yeah, so it's just there. You just you just you just have to know it's there. You can see it with the white in, in the health bar, but yeah. Big ultimate damage, 16,000, huge, 6,357 from uh, Marion on her. That's just pretty much the same as the poison. There you go. All the bonus tax she gets from all of her allies, it's just huge damage. You'll see the damage a meter after. There it is. There's the achievement. That's what we wanted. Uh, Blackhorn, great, excellent. Uh, your six-piece gear, crap. It could, could be good for Connor or something like that. But damage report, right? Ooh, Santis actually outdid Marion, which I'm very surprised, especially at a, like only on one ascension. Uh, so pretty interesting. But regardless, got your Queen 12. Let's see if we can do it a little bit faster with Zatlux. Oh, well, Zatlik's speed is actually faster than the wave, so as long as he one-shots, then we'll be okay. And he doesn't, so you don't have the gear for him currently. Don't have enough gold for me to level up either. I used up all your gold, so we can't do the Zatlux speed clears at this time. Now you talked about Tulpa, and now that you have a six-star Marion Shadowblood, super tanky, second ascension past that, I highly, highly recommend... Since you want to do Tulpa, to next six star your Jacob. Jacob is huge with Marion. Put him on Curse Set 2 and it'll shine. Those two together are ridiculous. But there's your chance. I'm going to leave it for you. I'm going to gear up some people for Void Tower hard for you and we'll push that. 
talked about void tower hard in the past especially with this mark it's a lot harder you need really good gear because you can't tank it through anymore and your account really lacks good nuker gear but now that you can farm queen 12 you can get some warrior sets curse sets high crit high crit damage high attack and be able to get through this void tower you need a lot of speed and a lot of damage in this rotation so you got to bring wind strikes and then three other nukers you have to clear the first and second wave without using skills so you can save all your skills for the third wave and there's three waves on stage five and ten i believe the rest are just two but you know what i mean so once you farm up queen 12 get some really good gear i would dead go into ash because i feel like the speed set is huge in void tower hard but that's something in the future let's see if we can beat void tower hard because this is a boss stage where it's three waves i know you're having issues on it so let's see if we can get past it. It's going to be pretty hard with your gear. I'm bringing in Urian. We've got Zatlux, Natalia. Natalia's 100% crit. Zatlux is pretty much at 100%. He's at 70. With his passive, it makes it 100. Those are really the only two sets of gear that are good for your nukers. Urian only has like 70% crit. And it's like an attack percent on all the bottom three. We're going to bring in a defense break spell. And we're going to bring in Rage Aura. We'll see what we can do. Okay, we need to get past this first wave. Everybody on my team is slower than the ads, and that's not good. This is what I mean with the speed sets and Ash. If you get really good six-star gear sets for it, you can have that as the offset, or even just like two sets of it and have a broken set. It's all about stats. But Void Tower, you need to be fast, especially during the wave phases. And I think you're kind of hard stuck right now in Void Tower because of your gear, but that'll come. Let's see if I can out survive the ads, which I highly doubt. I, I mean, I really need to use her ultimate, but like maybe I will just on this first wave. So let's just do it for this first wave. Um, but ultimately, you want your wave clear as that Lux to be faster than these first and second waves. Because now you can just do this. Uh, go ahead and kill all the waves because uh, they don't have high HP or defense. The waves don't, but they do hit really hard. So that's why you need to get past them quickly. Luckily, because Natalia has the speed buff now, she is faster than the ads. So that is a good thing. We're just going to knock this down here. Natalia has her buffs. She has three buffs. We're going to go ahead and AoE, hopefully kill them all. It actually doesn't because she only has three buffs. And the new buff, you need four buffs to attack everybody. That's okay. I'm just going to uh, basic attack this with Urian. 1,800, 14, 1,800, 3,600 damage. Okay, so here we go. Natalia has buffs. Melissa's already dead. Your whole team's almost dead already. And yeah. So that's that. So we need the armor break. <laughs> Jesus, this is why speed is so important. They have a cane, so that sucks. So let's go ahead and try to knock down that uh, that Imogen. Imogen. Imogen really doesn't do much. Uh, you don't have an attack buff because Windstrex died. Um, but let's see if we can do Rage Aura and do some damage here. A Wii. Okay, so we got two down, uh, but, but the problem is, is Melissa, uh, she's going to start one shot. She's going to one shot that Lux, and she's going to go after Urian, kill him. Uh, so let's see how much damage we can do uh, with crappy gear and Urian probably won't crit. Nope. So probably it's roughly about 15, 20 percent of her health. Yeah, 20 percent. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. So there's the silence. Uh, yep, we're dead. So, I mean, you're close. Um, but the thing is, is you need speed for hard tower. So you're kind of hard stuck there. So yeah, I want to talk about real quick what you can do in Ash. I really wouldn't worry about Tulpa too much. If you did, like I said, you just bring in Jacob, Marion, Shadow, Blood, Orok, and probably Zitlin, and you can pretty much go straight for the boss. But I feel like after farming Queen for a while, you should really focus on Ash. And for Ash, Sierra, Natalia kind of combination is huge. She's going to do big damage for you, especially when she kills Ads. She gets the Vengeful Spirit. She has the increased damage taken debuff. She's a staple in an Ash dungeon if you have her. There's always speed comps with like Ice Wolf and William. But literally, you could bring Natalia, Sierra, Blackhorn, and even Santis or William. And you can beat Ash 12 for sure. So that's it for today's video. Got Stone Dog as Queen 12 first victory. And really, I just wanted to showcase Marion and how good she can be. 
And that's with like mediocre gear. If you speed her up while making her tanky, she can even trigger more basic attacks and do more damage. Once your Zatlux is buffed up in gear, you'll be able to clear the waves, make that run faster. But as right now, this is what you gotta do. Slow Queen 12 clears so you get that six star gear and progress through the game. If you like the video, sub, like, ding, ding, a bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.